John, um, Gabbrook used the, the word, uh, as a it becomes a game of will. Can you just talk about it? I mean, first of all, if you agree with that, obviously, you probably do, but what you, what you think about that? As far as the game of will? Yeah, it, when you get into that many hours of playing, it becomes a mental game. And uh, uh, I felt as when the, if the game got longer and longer, uh, I felt our team was at an advantage. I think we have a, uh, a mentally tough group. Uh, I think some of the things you go through at the beginning of the year, your camps and stuff like that, um, we tried to, we talked about that. We tried to get any type of edge we could, and, and it does. It becomes a mental game. Just not giving in. That's, that's the key, just don't give in. John, you've said many times that you're judged by what you do in the playoffs. How big is this then for Gabby, for Lundquist, for really everybody? Well, I, I hope it gets Gabby going. You know, he, it's, a, it's a guy we need um, as we continue. Remember, this is just one game. It, it's just one game. And uh, uh, we have plenty of other things to take care of, and hopefully this will get him going. John, you just mentioned this is one game over here. You mentioned this is one game, but what kind of a, an impact can a game like this have on a series, do you think? Well, the impact is we're up, a, we're up a game. They have to win three, we have to win two. Uh, other than that, uh, we'll take tomorrow off, we practice, and we get ready to play. Uh, so you, the, guys, you know, the guys should feel good about themselves as far as what they went through, and they didn't give and they found a way. But... Uh, now we just go about our business. After tomorrow, we'll get away from it, and we go about our business. John, when a guy like Ryan McDonough plays, you know, I think over 50 minutes, mm -hmm. just, you know, how, how do you feel about that, the way your core players kind of stepped up tonight? Yeah, Mac is a guy that, uh, and I've told our guys that have covered the team, uh, he has a, a, a mental toughness about him that uh, has impressed us right away uh, when he first came to us. And, and we kept asking him, uh, are you okay? And he said he was fine. He wanted more. And, and, and like with Bick, you get into a situation where you're ice Bick, and, and you just know this is going to go on for a while, but it's an awful tough, tough situation to put Bick into after he's sitting for a while. So we made the decision just to stay with the five, and, uh, uh, you know, he, Matt gets run over, and uh, I think it took him a couple of shifts to get, get his bearings, but uh, uh, it, it's a... It's, it's a really good experience uh, for our young D to, to get through it and find a way to get a win. John, as the game goes on, are you looking up and down the bench for guys who are, quote unquote, fresh? Or are you just trying to roll the four lines as it goes? Does anything change for you and what you're doing? Yeah, we, we, I mean, everybody's going to play. And, and really, I thought our fourth line played very well within the, the 60 minute game. Um, for me, I was just looking for, I kept on looking for right combinations to uh, just to try to create offense. I didn't want our team to, uh, you know, you, you, you could fall into a trap of just playing and not pushing the pace. And then I thought both teams went through lulls of sitting back, other team taking it to you. Uh, I, I thought prior to the goal, I, I really thought we were coming there, the, the three or four shifts prior to that. And, uh, but everybody's going to play. Uh, you know, again, like I said about Bick, he's iced, and it's just a tough spot. Uh, everybody was going to play. Uh, yeah, sorry, John. Okay, last one. Uh, Henrik Lundqvist, who hasn't won a playoff overtime game in five years, said he just kept thinking over and over again, all it takes is one shot that can beat me here. And can you just speak to his mental toughness and kind of breaking through? Well, he, he, he is he, – he leads us. Um, you know, the, the way he portrays himself, the way he plays, uh, his competitiveness, his, just, his, uh, just the way he carries himself is what we are as a team. And uh, this is, it, it's good for Hank to, to get something done that way too. And, and it just keeps on building as he keeps improving as a goalie. Thank you.